Sooner Scoop HD. Sort of overcome the the pressure of it all. Uh, I'd say like I got a pretty good start to college football as a freshman, but um, that one deep post to, against Tech that I dropped on national team, I never forget that. <laughs> so like that always, I just I was so like upset after that. So I mean that play always sticks in my head, but I just make sure I don't do that again and uh, let my team down. How, how shocked were you on that? That final touchdown, how, how wide open you were. Yeah, I, I was I was really excited. <laughs> I was just hoping DG didn't like try to put all his arm and do it or anything. I'm just <laughs> grateful he put it right on the easy touchdown. But yeah, that was, that was great. Is that does, uh, when you're that wide open? Is that one? It, it, people don't get how hard I guess yeah. that kind of is. Because you're just like thinking like, oh, don't drop it, don't drop it. Don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever someone's there, it's just like uh, I'm just focusing on the ball. But when you know no one's around you and you can catch it, like it's just it's it's a little bit more pressure. But I like being open. So. I'll take it. How big of a spark was that last drive before half, huh? Yeah, I mean, it was a huge spark, you know, just for the crowd. I mean, get them back into the game, uh, slow offense, start off. And then uh, going into halftime, just the mentality of the offense kind of helped us with the pep in our step. And we just came out and went to work the second half. Obviously never want to play, you know, like you guys did in the first first part of the game. But that adversity, mm -hmm. where does that go for you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's great. Just, um, you know, I kind of harped on it earlier. Coach Levy kind of said that um, through all that adversity, we kind of didn't, you know, get to bickering at each other and all that stuff. And just as we stay together as an offense, I mean, we're going to be able to do things that we've never done here. So I'm real excited about that. Excited. Lauren, you're on the, the other side of the ball, but as a guy who performed kind of from the jump here, do you recognize any, in, anything in Danny Stutzman and, and his ability to just do this and this being just his second career start? No? Yeah, I mean, Danny's probably the craziest guy on the football team. I mean, dude flies around, hits everything. I love watching him play. I've never been a defensive guy, but Danny Stutzman makes me want to watch defense. I just, I just love the way he plays, the person he is outside of football. I mean, he's a great guy. I love watching him play. He's going to be one heck of a player. I mean, just the way he flies around. I mean, we have 11 tackles today. 12. 12, my bad. 20 tackles <laughs> today. And then uh, nine last week. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. The dude always makes plays, though. I think there's going to be people that want to stay around and watch you return kicks and punts nowadays. Yeah. Uh, just as far as the special teams aspect of things, it seems like it's taken a little bit more seriously these days. Yeah, I mean, uh, so team was great, you know, just to kind of get a chance to flip the field, give the offense some easier yards, you know, even with the punts and the kickoff section, and, uh, Michael Turk. I mean, it's just great to get those hidden yards when we can, especially on the returns. I mean, it's I love punt return. It's fun. It's uh, it's kind of lonely back there, but I like it. And just to be able to make a play, I mean, it's great. You got the crowd into it. Teammates are excited. I mean, it's something that we haven't really had here a lot in the past couple of years. Sure. How close did you think you were? On that uh, the one that got got loose there. Yeah, I thought I'd see what happened was they motioned everybody to the, my left. So I was like, oh, if I catch this, I'm taking it right. And the punter kicked it to the right. So I was like, oh, there's just like no way I'm not scoring. I get it. I run. The guy cuts me off to the right. So I have to cut back left. And I cut back left. I just knew. I was like, oh, dang it. But made the most out of it. Got a bounce. It was the kicker. So I'll probably hear <laughs> some stuff about that on Monday. But. It is what it is. I think it'll be something that'll be talked about this week, but just as far as taking this thing on the road for the first time this year, oh, yeah. it seems like that's something that you guys would really embrace as close as this team is. Danny talked about just kind of being on your lonesome out there in front of Nebraska fans. Yeah, I mean, um, I love playing on the road. I lived it my whole career. It's just something different. People aren't cheering for you. They're going against you. And when you're like a great player, a good player, I mean, you, you love that stuff. I mean, it's nothing like it. Um, you know, we got, I think, 40% of our roster is returning, um, or new to the roster, 40% of the roster is new. So um, we got a lot of young guys and stuff like that. We just got to get them ready to make sure they don't get out of themselves with the distractions and stuff going on the way game. As a guy that's been around here, do you guys, do you take guys to the side this week, or how do you have those conversations? Uh, just basically tell them what to expect. I mean, student section's going to be behind us. You don't know what you're going to hear. Sure. Just trying to stay locked into the game. I mean, there's going to be a lot of distractions. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I mean, we're just there to play football. We're there to play the game, just lock in. Just know where you got to be and when you got to be there. Bar with the marquee nature of this matchup, Oklahoma, Nebraska, does that, you as a playmaker, do you you're, you get a little more excited? You get a little more, I don't know, what what does that do for you? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really know about the rivalry until last year. But, um, I mean, I love it. I love rivalries. It always means more to certain people. So, you know, I go out there and play ball, just like OU Texas. I mean, yeah. being from Texas, I know how much that means. But yeah. OU Nebraska, I kind of know more of the history now year two of doing it so um just be out there and make plays put on a show for the people watching you know you get your name edged in kind of the history books with that game so that'd be pretty cool do you i mean 
you obviously recognize, I mean, obviously full stadiums and all that, but, you know, people watching and just the, the hype surrounding it, does does it add a little bit more to it for you? I mean, it definitely does. I mean, people are going to be watching TV, all that stuff, but then you got to bring in, like, being in a away game, that rivalry. I mean, those fans are going to bring it. Those players are going to bring it. They're going to play their hardest. And um, that's something we have to be ready for as a team. Just go out there with toughness, just be able to do things that we know we can do and just do it at a consistent level. Does that – you've mentioned toughness. That's one of those things that I think about those last three catches. Like, people will say, you know, how it was speed and it was skill, but you – that especially the touchdown, you had to get free of that guy. How how proud of your level of toughness are you right now? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm real proud of it. Probably yeah. the best I've felt ever in my career, thanks to Coach Schmidt, just the stuff he went through this summer. I mean, mentally, I mean, it's more of a mental thing than a physical thing, but he got us all wired up this year. And um, I'm extremely grateful for him, the stuff we've been through, because guys are, you can really see it when playing. I see it in myself sometimes, just the confidence to be able to go out there and block or do something like that. Yeah. Would you make a Daniel Parker the pass catcher? Oh. Is he coming for your job? He can have it if he wants. <laughs> but, uh, I love DP. I mean, that dude, he's always, I mean, he's going to talk smack. He's going to put somebody in the dirt. I mean, you always need a guy like that around. And sometimes you got to hold him back and he never listens. But, I mean, I'd rather have to hold someone back than let him loose. But I love DP. I mean, he's an exceptional teammate. He takes his role. He does his best at it. I mean, talk about a guy. That's Sooner Scoop HD.